Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Uh, welcome back to another episode of our Liu Bei Let's Play. Uh, we're on episode 17, uh, picking it up from turn 90 in the summer season of the year 208. Uh, last episode, we uh, marched the one remaining army we had, uh, led by our now ex-wife and current wife, uh, all the way up to Liaoxi. Uh, we uh, started the episode after taking their capital, Yu Beiping, and then we took the capital, Liaoxi, and now Gongsi Zan shifted the capital all the way to Dai. Uh, basically, as far as possible, as far as away from us as possible each time. Uh, this time, we'll be sweeping our army down south uh, this way to finally claim all of Gongsun Zan's land. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Zhang Fei's army sit here as a defensive deterrence uh, against Yuan Xi, uh, which is working well. Um, Guan Yu has taken one of our armies, uh, marched it uh, into Chen, and then we're now about to take in Chun uh, next turn, uh, which is the last city that Tao Ying has, uh, which will effectively wipe out Tao Ying. Uh, we are still at war uh, with a lot of different factions and coalition and alliances uh, from the Tempered Steel uh, uh, Coalition, we're at war with Gongsun Zan. Uh, from the uh, Yellow River Coalition, I think we made peace with everyone. I think so. And then this is the Alliance of the Darkening Moon, which we're at war with Sun Jian and Tao Ying. Uh, Dongmin, I believe, is also in a coalition. Let's take a look. Dongmin is in the opposed oppressor coalition. Uh, he declared war on us. I highly suspect this is a move that Cao Cao made uh, behind the scenes because I was very friendly with everyone in this coalition for a long time. Uh, we are in the coalition to reconcile China with Yuan Shu. Uh, he has finally started to build out his territory. He's getting a lot stronger. Uh, guess this could be helpful right now, although I personally don't like him very much. Um, this is the Alliance of the Dark Name Moon, who's currently at war with us. And then these are the No Alliance factions, mainly the Yellow Turban and some really small players, and Kong Rong. Uh, Kong Rong and us has a interesting relationship uh, where we haven't done anything to him but his uh, satisfaction with us has decreased as we expanded and become more of more of a threat to him uh, we'll have to see what we do with him uh, I do want these two uh, counties that he has that will complete Langya uh, Donglai I have no interest in uh, so we'll see about that uh, let's swing back to the action and get started um, we are. F I think we have everything set up for to finish the turn. Uh, I don't think I'm upgrading any of these buildings, so let's just continue. Gosuza has a new army group. Uh, Zhang Yan has declared war on us, so this is not surprising as we've been at war with their faction, with their coalition, which probably means Han Xi is not long to join. That one moved back into the city to die. Ma Teng uh, declare war okay, with uh, one of their coalition partners. Uh, left the coalition. Okay, so they're banning him. That's good. Because he's at war with us. Sima Yi has appeared in the world. I wonder which faction he joins. Probably Cao Cao's. Okay, let's look at a few things. Uh, there are uh, people available to use. Mm, we can probably use Xiao Qiao somewhere to build up, uh, perhaps here. This army approaching us is led by Pan Yi, Tian Ying, uh, 
Tiang Gat. Okay. Uh, our 80 year old is defending it. Along with the city garrison that's healthy. Uh, it's not a strong uh, garrison. But I think we'll just defend it. If we lose it with him and he uh, dies at 84 of, uh, in battle, uh, we can then shift his army to Zhuge Liang, which is what we want. Uh, we'll be upgrading this building over here. We won't wait on the assignment. It's not worth waiting one turn. Uh, instead of rushing back to defend the city, we'll continue our path in taking out these uh, small settlements. Yeah, we'll get there next turn. Uh, we have a lot of completed construction this turn. Uh, Taishan has completed a building. Uh, Taishan. Corruption is a big issue. We really need to find copper so we can uh, get the 10% to the next level, not just to your own commandery, but to adjacent one as well. But yes, we do need to use this to combat corruption. Let's go this route. Pingyuan has the other route. Uh, corruption is high as well. We're switching over. Uh, I guess we can't convert it now because we need copper. We're already level 4. Uh, Pengchun has that empty slot ready for conscription. Don't. Dong has built this building up. Uh, upgrading would be just a 25% commerce increase with upkeep. Upgrading this would be increase uh, in income as well as 25%. Uh, this is much cheaper. Uh, it's actually hard to judge which one's better, but I believe this one should come out ahead. Uh, even this one. Actually, let's take a look at these two. This is probably more comparable. Uh, this is definitely better. Um, Alright, we're good there. Uh, we have marched our army up. Uh, Zhang Ye has declared war. Uh, which is fine. We'll swing down after we come across. Defense set up here. Defense set up here. Uh, let's take Tao Ying's force. Alright, we're just gonna jump straight into battle. No need to siege. Uh, we do have four uh, tribuchets, although no flaming shot and very low level. But we can do it. We have a lot of cavalry units. Five units of archers. Six, seven, eight. Okay, that's a lot of archers actually. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're setting up our deployment here. Uh, one thing to note, Intron has a military infrastructure building built, so therefore they will have uh, tribuchets on these uh, little uh, bastions instead of arrow towers, depending on how you deploy. Uh, so one way to take care of those is to um, kite them out. Uh, I'm going to attack from the back side where uh, the gate is the weakest, but you gotta start out by hiding your tribuchets because their tribuchets are deadly accurate and will knock out your tribuchets for sure. And we don't want that, so... Uh, we'll first guarantee that because we put it here, it's out of range. Uh, although that one is not out of sight. Okay, there we go. And then we can put our infantry also out of sight. So the weakness of the enemy tribuchet is that they are only going to have um, uh, ten, 10 shots of ammo and will rout after they run out of ammo. So we have one group of uh, cavalry that we're going to come out and we're going to run it towards their range. And you can see uh, the AI has a tracking system in terms of how they track uh, your path. So if they see you heading in this direction, their shots will fire uh, towards your path. So you can see the ammo symbol. That means it fired. That's when you switch directions. Ooh, switch directions. Yeah. And this way, uh, you just kite out. Well, actually, they have 13 ammo. This has to do with the has to do with their strategies in the city. 
So see, you see the ammo indicator change, and then you just shift directions. You basically zigzag, uh, do what uh, I think Raycon Stark should have done in Game of Thrones when the seasons were still decent. All right, so they change, they fire that one, and then they fire that one a little later. Yeah, it's it's quite easy to kite out uh, tribute shots when you're microing on one unit. Um, yeah, you just let it go in one direction, wait for the indicator to fire, then you shift it real quick, and it's guaranteed to miss because they're trying to hit you where your pathing is going. So you just go one direction, wait till you gotta focus on the bar to see when the bar drops, and then when you see the bar drop like that. You dodge, and they see that bar drop. You dodge again. But they have a little temple uh, misread on both, so we have to uh, focus on them separately. This one's gonna fire first, and that one's gonna fire second. So we, we let it go this way. Oh, that one already fired. I already didn't see it, but we saw the shot. Okay. Yeah, you just rinse and repeat until they ran out ammo. Doesn't take that long, uh, but this guarantees their tribuches to do zero damage to you. Uh, this is essentially like trying to kite out um, uh, archery unit by uh, kiting out their ammo. Uh, you know, you, you might make a mistake with the temple uh, if you're not focused and get a shot at. So it's fine. Just one unit cavalry would do the job. If they get shot at, they get shot at. Like in that case, it was too close for comfort. Probably did some health damage with the splash, but not enough to kill off one unit. But regardless, we're just going to be uh, repeating this method. They're already down to five ammo shots. Alright, that shot has come out. Yeah, if you don't want to look at the bar, uh, the distance is far enough that you can wait till the flaming shot shows up on the screen. It's quite easy to look at to find the flaming so You find the flaming shot, then you just shift directions, and they miss. And you go back to going this way so, so that they track you. And then you wait for the flaming shot to show up on the screen, and then you stop them. Wait, they didn't show up. <laughs> I saw a bird or something. And by hiding your unit, you don't actually have to hide them in the forest, but I, I hit them, uh, like we mentioned before. If you hide your units, uh, the enemy will clump in the city square rather than line them up on the uh, wall. Uh, did that just because uh, this way we can uh, get an earlier move on them. Okay, that one finished firing, that one finished firing. So you see, as soon as they finish firing, they route. Without ammo, the people who are manning it just route. Okay, mission complete. Um, just basically takes up four minutes of your time. Uh, we are going to attack this one side. We're going to line up our four tribuches. Uh, this will take a while. I'm going to probably cut it and then show it when I have everyone deployed.
All right, we're back. Uh, we finally put our trebuchets in position. It took like 10 minutes of travel time, and they responded by shifting all their range unit over here, which is perfect because our strategy is to take our longest range unit to wipe out their uh, range unit, and then we'll take our range unit to wipe out their infantry, and then we'll have our cavalry come in and clean up. So first thing they gotta go is we gotta take out these uh, four towers and uh, arrow towers. So once we wipe those out, we'll see what our ammo situation is, and then we can uh, decide which parts of the wall to break. Yep. So we'll just let them fire away. It's not such a visual feast without flaming shots, and also not a great damage. I right, broke the door, but we haven't broke the arrow four tower. Uh, let's fire this like this. We probably only need one more, uh, one uh, trebuchet to fire that instead of all four. Uh, be quite of a waste to fire four more rounds at this one building that needs 20%. Wow, the accuracy. 16 trebuchets. I think two direct hits. The are just two. Though. Okay, they wipe that out. Uh, we're gonna start hitting walls uh, because the misses might hit this. Uh, let's start with the far side. We're gonna ignore these. Uh, these walls are also indestructible. So we're gonna start here and play knock out most of these in the front. Nice. Uh, we're gonna continue by hitting. All leaving. Let's see where they go. I feel like we need to knock this out to even get a good clean shot in the back. I mean, we could fire like this, and some of the misses might hit that. That might work. I just manually aim into this area right here. farther than uh, the aim because of the hitting across the wall. Let's see if this works. Not we got about five or six more shot. Uh, we managed to bust through that wall with aiming manually here because the misses, which is interesting. Let's continue this idea of uh, the misses might hit the, the yeah, did one shot did hit it went from 80 to 90 percent so that's great. Uh, we also might want to make the hole here a little bigger for our cavalry. Yep, the misses did it. Okay, so this is hard for us to hit. They're like right underneath this this wall, so we, this is indestructible. So we can't actually like destroy this. Uh, we could try to hit this and then hit part of that wall uh, on the shots that could miss. Yeah, like that. Just damage that wall a little bit. Although there's not much to hit, I feel like this is kind of a waste of ammo. It is killing those units. Not killing much here. Um, I guess we'll conserve our ammo and not shoot. Uh, we don't have any more turns. We can move our crossbowmen up and start firing at some of the archer units that are close by, the closest ones. Just gotta make sure we stay out of that arrow tower range. Uh, stay this, uh, this way of the wall. Where is this unit? Wait, how is this unit? Walking. It's going underground. All right, so there are some on top of the, the, the gate. Those will be our target. Uh, yep. uh, I guess we'll hit these. That way we can maybe the missus will hit the wall as well. Not 
doing a good job of hitting the walls. Skip it. Nope. This is not working. They're hitting too low. They're missing out in front. Okay. Now we fire these. I mean, given the army composition, I could technically do a just a strong cavalry charge in here. Uh, and we can wipe out these units on the ground. Uh, so I guess we could just try to aim at the cavalries in the back with our trebuchets. The spear guards especially. This group right here. I want to wait till they stop moving. Alright, let's hit the spear guards. And these will hit the G infantry captains. We'll have the shower shower technique by the crossbowmen. Maybe these guys, if they also overlap with another unit, so it'll be doing more damage. Yep, that way we can also hit these uh, Jian infantry captains. Alright, we'll get our cavalry ready, along with our uh, Shi Huan. I mean, Guan Yu should actually go with him too. Let's call this uh, four. Charge. Alright, all our range units are done. Time for the cavalry to put on a show. We'll take some damage from the fire, but we got this. Those routed, keep running past them. Right, the spearmen are still moving, so we ram them in before they brace. Yep, perfect. These will just die from the residual charge. You gotta keep sending orders to make them go forward. This is our target. Yeah, this cavalry charge is impressive. Come on. Their cavalry. All these units has uh, routed. Even their cavalry is not really fighting us. So we're just gonna give them a direct charge. Yeah, and they're gonna route it out of the way. Alright, those died. We'll regroup a little bit find a place to stand. So if we we'll run here, uh, we'll have our um, infantry come up. Uh, getting shot at by archers. The reason why is I don't want to run into these uh, arrow towers. Uh, even they, they, they regroup outside of the city. That's interesting. We'll take over the gate first. I mean, we could just run into the arrow tower, I guess. Do we capture it? All right, we captured it. We can ignore those uh, archers now. Yeah. 
Anyway, I hope they come out to find us. Um, they're all staying within the range, which is quite annoying. Uh, we'll have these group come in. Alright, we're just gonna charge in. These infantry are braced. We'll make short work of that. these guys. Oh. Alright, move through those. The morale damage from Milsi's ability helped out. Alright, we gotta get to here. We're gonna capture that. Picked up these uh, towers very soon. Yep, got those. Now it's uh, simple. Now it's a matter of just wrecking them. Some mass route. We only have these guys. The generals are tough to deal with. Right, these guys came in and took care of the archer. Uh, and line up with the square here. Oh, the generals routed too. Okay. So we did it. Alright, that was a pretty textbook siege. And Tony's last city is no more. I think we reached the rank of Duke. Alright,我们已经到了这个位置。Yep, we reached the level of Duke. 2000 gold. New mission to become Emperor. Basically, reach King. Uh, our territory is now called Duchy of Shuhan. Uh, so, this is basically a name change. Uh, we basically reached a certain prestige level, that's how we ranked up, and we gained that prestige level uh, because of the city uh, we captured. Uh, this has two food. And it's a small city, why are we selling negative food? I thought we were doing good on food. Huh. We don't have the necessary tech for this, so if we gotta downgrade this to be make the building more effective for us. Uh, this... Military supply. We should convert it to this one. It's a little cheaper in terms of upkeep and also decreases enemy uh, military supply. Um, Hua Ji leveled up. Uh, Hua Ji is an excellent, excellent um, uh, administrator in the future. Uh, has mine plus five percent attrition to hostile forces, uh, forces in the in the in the commandery. Has uh, decreased uh, ambition to gain independence as well as has plus 10% from commerce. Uh, so we're going to be trying to set him up as a potential um, administrator. He has these two uh, that are vitally important. Eventually we want him to get this, but since he's in the army with four tribuches, we need to get him a uh, resource from this as soon as possible. So we'll start here with precision. Um, and then Shi Huan leveled up to three. Uh, he's actually you know, winning me over. Um, well, let's switch his weapon. Yeah, he's winning me over as a general. Uh, I didn't like him very much in the beginning. But now, 
Oh, did we get this item or we got Zhuge Liang? This clearly looks like a Zhuge Liang weapon. Yeah, this clearly looks like a Zhuge Liang weapon. Um, for Shi Huan, uh, we're gonna give him... I mean, I don't think I have any more instinct item, so we'll just give him the Book of Songs for the morale boost. And in terms of the level up here, uh, definitely the charge bonus. Pingyuan, uh, Yinchuan. I don't know why we don't have enough food. I thought we were pretty sure we were going to be self. I mean, Yinchuan should negative two plus three farming. Is we gain two food by taking Yinchuan, but somehow we are globally negative two food. Hmm. Perhaps it's from assignments. But I don't think we had any assignments that helped farming. Uh, it might also be because we upgraded something, a city or something. But I don't recall. Uh, anyways, uh, let's find the best city to put these guys in. Uh, 310 commerce Dong is the highest commerce I see uh, so is Yobei Ping uh, okay I guess let's see if Yobei Ping let's have them take um, uh, Liang Gui over here make a little money for us um, it's going to be a trade city for sure uh, the LC, it's another trade and industry city. Uh, we really need to find a source of food. This technically could be some sort of a food plus commerce city. We could demolish this building that I don't particularly like and build a food uh, building instead. We'll still have 100% to commerce. And we'll have some agriculture that goes along, um, pairs up well with the uh, uh, fishing port. Although eventually it will have commerce income as well. Um, or we could upgrade uh, one of our farmlands that... Wait. Okay, we have the livestock farm. Today we have the farmland. We could also diplomatically get food. Uh, we can ask Konrong for a trade. But I'm not sure if he has uh, food. He has a large regional city, a level 9 city. He just likes to build tall way too much. Uh, do they have food? They have 9 food. Would they be willing to trade us 2? At a big cost. Hmm. Yeah, that's too steep of a price. Well, you gain fulfilled. Okay. Ranger's outfit. Uh, Ranger's outfit. Let's see, let's see. Is this... Gold or a commander or uh, one of these uh, sentinels. Hmm. Maybe from B. Yeah. Let's, Let's also equip Jugonia with uh, the fan. and the devious attendant and we'll give him our good horse yeah our ex-wife don't need this horse no more nobleman sword yeah you can have the nobleman sword for now okay uh we have this food situation which is 
something that needs to be taken care of because what's going to happen is globally the food supply will decrease for reserve from every city that I own which is something we can't handle uh, long term um, we'll have to see if, if downgrading this would help although I don't think that's the problem uh, if not we can go to Chen and we can uh, Ah, oh, I think I know why. Because we converted this, the amount of food produced changed over here. Because we were producing four food plus like 75%, which was seven food, now it's six food. That could be one possible explanation. I mean, an easy fix is after this construction, we just convert this back to food production rather than selling food, and then we'll be all set. Uh, we're gonna go here because this is likely to suicide into a city anytime soon, and the only city we can reach is Chen. Uh, let's look at the map again. Uh, nobody like us is a forbidden true. Um, we're at war with Sun Jian now. That's the only thing we're at war with down south. Uh, Zhang Ye, Dong Min, and Gong Sun Zan up north. Uh, we still haven't spent any money to make a new army. Uh, I hope to make a new army after the conscription building gets fully built here. Uh, right now, I hope the army up north is sufficient enough to uh, take care of all the remaining settlements. If he dies, it's an opportunity to get Zhuge Liang out. Yep, that's the plan. Uh, let's move forth. No, you're going to extinction. He's just sieging, he's not actually attacking. Okay, Sun Jian, stay busy with Yuan Shu, please. Don't come towards me. That should be Lady Wu. They have a lot of army group. We're stuck on them for a long time. He wisely avoided the city of Chen and is trying to uh, suicide into Chen livestock farm. Uh, we can't allow that. Uh, they signed the peace treaty with yellow turbans. I mean, there's not really alliance anymore. Your alliance partner is essentially dead. Don't mean it's fighting more wars in the north, in the west. Ah, so we got uh, the sleeping dragon, which is Zhuge Liang. Now we get the fledgling phoenix, which is Pang Tong. Uh, another uh, equally intelligent uh, advisor. doesn't get the unique character treatment uh, but we have him nonetheless let's give him a bowl we'll try our best to not let him die like he does in the in the books um, he has three level ups uh, he has kind which good for administration good for spying no desire for higher office that's excellent Humble is such a great skill. Uh, we'll just build you out like uh, a standard uh, uh, strategist that we're going to use in battle. We have a new recruit here. Incompetent, kind-hearted, and intepid. I guess I could send you out to a spy. Just because you're incompetent <laughs> uh, we also have a new uh, administrator position open up which is great um, I forgot about those are the side effect of reaching Duke uh, could have done something last turn oh I almost forgot we have a spy out there on UNC side who has stacked up quite a bit of cover and uh, not so much undercover network but we can fix that we can use this ability here to shift some of those points. Ooh, plus 16. He is very, very stingy. This is a very hard person to spy against. 
Okay, so now we have even amounts. We can do a little bit of both. So now we know whatever we pick, we got to add 16 to the cover point cost because of the, I don't know, whatever passive UNC has. Now we'll let him stay here. There's no, um, no urgency for him to join an army or anything. We're not exactly at war yet with them. Um, we're adding a new spy. We're going to send... Hmm, we could send some other guys. Let's take a look at these two. Who are also available in the recruitment pool. He is handsome, kind, and greedy. Uh, and he is feared, bright, and careless. Uh, none of them scream great uh, choices. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we just don't spy. Not exactly like a life-changing mechanism. Okay, we managed to fix the food situation. That's good news. Uh, Bohai Pengchun. Pengchun will continue to upgrade the conscription building chain. Chen will upgrade the tax building chain. Yin Chun. Okay, so we just acquired Yin Chun. This now has 75% food production. We're not going to change this because apparently we need every ounce of food. Uh, we might keep this because this is a border town and having those um, tribuchets would be good. Uh, Guan Yu seems to be nothing to do here. Our war is south of us. He could actually go take Donghai from Sun, uh, Sun Jian. So he has an army group on our side, or at least in a boat. I don't know if he's coming over. Oh, he has an army group here. Okay, so we're going to have a fight down here soon. Um, let's finish off this person. We can delegate this fight, I think. Yep, we'll just delegate this fight. So we can fight it. Ooh. Stab in the heart and look the face. I will just take the body. Yeah, uh, this is just the same declaration, just the alliance is dead, so he uh, declared war by himself. Uh, we'll have you defend the north end of the line, and then we'll have Guan Yu come down to defend the south line against Wen Jian. Uh, we'll probably lose this, which will cause a food issue, which is unfortunate. Uh, we also need to appoint administrators, so let's see, what's our best city? Dong has administrator, check, check, check. Bohai doesn't have one. Uh, Yu Beiping doesn't have one. Yu Beiping's under siege. Pengcheng doesn't have one. Um, of all these, I think Yu Beiping actually needs it the most because he's building from the grounds up. And has a trade port, which is better than Bohai's fishing port. Um, so we'll point one here. Also, the new army group will help out with the sieging. Uh, Zhao Yun actually will make a pretty great administrator. Minus 30% construction cost because of the high expertise. Yeah, we'll put Zhao Yun in there. He's not doing anything for us right now in the court. So in one turn, we'll have a... Are we Actually, they're already here. They're going to be suffering from attrition. Because of the no uh, food supply, let's just hang in there. I mean, if we if we fight now, do we get everyone? I'll get everyone. Uh, we'll just automate this then, because we're winning this. There's no point to waste time. Wow, we lost a lot of them. Uh, we'll take replenishment. That solves our siege. Yeah, Zhao Yun is just so OP. Continue taking these. Uh, I'll be back with the result. You know what it's going to be like. Alright, we're moving along. Uh, rivals with uh, Pong Yin. Okay. It's from that automated battle. 
Alright, we have Cotton Dowsi. Level 3 Toolmaker, excellent. Yeah, we won't chase. We'll just let them do whatever. We'll just get our main army over, push in, finish this out. Um, we're going to have a food crisis again because we're going to lose one of our uh, livestock farms because of Suzia. Unless he's... We could make peace with him, actually. 8.5. 8.5 is very doable. 8.5 is very doable. Oh, Sun Quan's available to be married. Wow, Sun Quan. 26 year old. <laughs> Harmonizes well with my ex wife. Wow. That's a big no no. Minus a hundred opinion on this idea. That's so funny. Okay, I don't blame you. Um, I mean, I can easily give you. Wow. They have the armor smith. So they have all these great armors. I can easily give you some just random items. Like these clay axe. Three clay dogs, and then pay you like I don't know, a couple hundred gold, and then we'll have a piece, at least a temporary piece. Yeah, I think I'll take this piece. Okay, so we made peace with Sun Jian. Had to pay him a bit. Uh, let's see who else we can make peace with. Uh, Gong Sun doesn't get out of here. Domin doesn't want to. Ma Teng wants a non aggression pack. Well, you can have one. I mean, where are you? You're probably way out west. Uh, definitely want to trade. Uh, definitely really want to trade with uh, Sun Jian actually, because he has the T, and we basically needed a T, and then we couldn't. Wait, uh, wrong. Is it still negative twenty? Wow, that's impossible. Then, then we'll have to just get Cao Cao's first. You, a treaty that he tore up. Uh, oh, Cao Ren got hurt, or at least recalled, or something happened. Talpi is heir. Are you interested in our ex-wife? Wow, Cao Ang is interested in our ex-wife. Um, I mean, I want my ex-wife to be happy. Uh, we get to have Cao Ang join us and they can have kids because they're part of the royal family oh but if Cao Ang marries my ex-wife do I have to call Cao Cao uncle <laughs> what about Cao Ren uh, they don't like each other you know what, I'm just gonna pay for uh, this, it's a thousand something, so we can pay some money for it. Yep, let's do it. That takes care of most of the southern part. Uh, we can now shift back our attention to the north, finish off Gong Sun Zan, and uh, kind of spend some time to reset uh, our game because we need to really think about what generals to keep, what generals not to keep. Um, they're holding firm, we can end turn. Oh, 
Oh, she was back. Oh, dang. They just repeatedly have men. Yeah, Sun Jian was ready. He has so many armies nearby. No, I don't even know what off. Han Fu, uh, Han Fu's army showed up. Not that strong. I guess he'll be in Bohai in two turns. One turn to get there, one turn to attack. Oh, of course, Sun Jian gets invited into Gong Sun coalition. Alright, good omen for public order. Huh, I guess Tao Ying's still alive. He joined uh, Zhang Chao's faction. Huang Zhu's available to hire. Range ambusher, thirty percent chance of ambushing faction wide if he's your uh, uh, prime minister leader or heir. He has a confused sage. Okay, we're definitely hiring him just for that. Uh, determined, cautious, and humble. He's humble. Okay, Huang Zhu, you're in. Wait, we have another. Oh, uh, we reached another prestige level. Uh, uh, I mean, um, unity level. So we have another administrator. Yeah, Liu Bei has a lot of administrators in the game. Uh, you can't beat this. He's also suffering from attrition. Or at least he's not um, He's not able to replenish. We are definitely suffering from attrition. Um, we'll send help. Help is on the way. We'll help out and then we'll attack. Uh, the Iron Mine of Yodro. Yeah, we'll get there next turn. Hang in there, guys. Uh, Ping Yuan is all set. Uh, Liao Xi needs to upgrade this. Simon has four more turns, okay. Bo Hai is going to get attacked soon. Uh, Bo Hai could actually... Liao Xi could use a new... Um, Administrator. Mm. <laughs> she went from uh, very, very low satisfaction from disinherited back to 72. Got over the divorce. Yeah, Hua Ji is actually excellent commerce. Uh, he could actually be in um, Yu Bei Ping later on. He can switch with Zhao Yun. Right now, the building phase, we can use her. 18% discount. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Or we can actually pull Zhao Yun out of uh, Yu Bei Ping and then throw someone else in, and then they'll be fresh and they can attack Xu Chu's army. That is one way to play that. Hmm. Let's pull him out. Right, and then we if we assign a different person here, we'll get their whole retinue inside as well. Uh, who has a whole retinue of army just sitting here? Liu Qi does. Liu Qi has a whole cavalry unit. Jian uh, Yong doesn't. I think only Liu Qi has a full retinue here. Huang Zhu also, oh no, Huang Zhu doesn't have him. I thought he would. Uh, she does. Su Pei Xiang. Xiao Qiao also has a full retinue. Interesting. Uh, Liang Gui also has a full retinue. Liu Qi has a full retinue. He, his retinue switched. I thought his retinue was going to be uh, six cavalrymen, which was why I had him. Um, so those are our options. He's not particularly good, but then whoever we put in, we're going to switch out afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. Liu Qi can come in. We can 
take care of the siege. I think that's the play, actually. We'll throw Loti in there. Uh, we can't win the siege, but at least it's okay. Yeah, we have a better chance of just holding this. I guess his, his ready is not that strong. But help's on the way in turn. They can't take us now, for sure. And they all see we can uh, put uh, Zhao Yun in here next turn. The minus 30% just too good. Okay, so we take care of everything up here. Bohai is going to get attacked soon. Uh, going to have to figure something out here. We might have to just move him. Zhang Fei is just standing here doing nothing. He doesn't have reach. He doesn't have reach. So we just have to march. That's our solution. And we'll reach Bohai next turn as well. Donghai is fine, Yichuan is fine. Going with army. Uh, I don't know what to do with you. I feel like we can actually destroy Zhang Chao. He is not in a coalition with anyone. And he is not. He's allied with Liu Yao, which is, is, is totally fine. Yeah, they have a. Oh, they're the remaining coalition of the Yellow River. <laughs> I guess we'll shift Guan Yu down south. Uh, back to Pengcheng, perhaps. And we'll have him defend Yinchuan, which is actually very defensible with those uh, military infrastructure. Um, we'll, we'll hang in here, and most of the fighting will happen next turn. Our food has been decimated. Because of winter, I believe. Oh, Xu Chu comes to fight our main army, which he's projected to win, mainly because of the garrison aid. So we're gonna retreat. If he comes closer, he won't have the garrison. Okay. That worked out. Sun Xin is just blatantly trespassing. Like, I know you have so many army group that you were coming to kill me with, but now you're just trespassing. Oh, Dong Min is here. Oh wow, two army groups. Hmm. Our war in the north is taking too long. My Liu Yao wants to offer us marriage. No. Wu Okay. Uh, nothing that bothers us. A lot of new characters, we'll take a look at that later. Got a Talus Monk. Chen Gong getting Chen Kuo. Uh, Chen Kuo, which is good. Uh, Liu Qi, you can leave now. We'll put uh, Hua Ji over here. He's the one we want for the commerce. And then Zhao Yun can come up here for the industry and the build up. We'll siege them. I feel like if we're fighting this in terms of offensive sieging, we have a great shot. Yeah, night battle with our tribuches. Let's do it. Alright, uh, setting us up for this uh, assault battle on the iron mine. Um, We don't have flaming shot on our tribuches. We do have a lot of strong archers. 
I don't know how the AI is going to respond. I don't know if they're going to ride out and meet us, or are they going to stay inside? Because if they're going to ride out, I prefer to fight somewhere in the open. I mean, this is a pretty narrow path of approach. Maybe we'll just stay on this side. Uh, we can set up our trebuchets back here. Maybe even a little farther. Yeah. We don't need to be starting off in that range. This is our strongest group. Right, the last bit of morale damage with the fire arrows. We have a front line of anti charge. Actually, front anti charge can be on the side just in case their cavalry comes. The front can be our uh, cavalry anti arrow here. And we have regular saber militia here. These can provide. Uh, Range block chance, and she can just be right here. Let's take a. I mean, it's foggy, so we don't know. We won't know until they come out or not. Oh, seems like. Seems like they're not coming out. Okay, so we can select the whole group and move them up a little bit. We can actually reorganize this if they're not coming out. If they're not coming out, we can put some of our archers to the left flank. Like this. And then we can have these two. This. I'm wasting a little bit of time just trying to get the units over, especially the tribuchets. Uh, gotta turn off your auto fire. Okay. Uh, I guess they're really not coming out. So if that's the case, these guys can actually go all the way up to here, and then we'll fire. Yeah, I'll cut it to when they uh, make it there. Okay, we arrived at our spot. Uh, I'm not gonna shoot at any of the arrow towers because uh, we can rely on our fire arrows to take care of those uh, much more efficiently than the trebuchet shots without flaming shots. What we're gonna do instead is just fire down at these uh, infantry that's at the door. Damage. Seems like we're hitting a little farther than where we're aiming. So maybe right here, and then the splash will hit them. Let's see if that logic holds up.
Yep, that worked out perfectly. On this side. Yeah, I'm just basically gonna try to snipe off the door, uh, whatever units in the doorway, and then once they route, uh, they probably will send out more people to guard the doorway. Uh, yeah, see, they're sending more people to guard the doorway now. They're in loose formation here. Two guys here. Yes, who can she truly? Like we're not having the shield on show that we want. Uh, we'll send our <laughs> fire archers up uh, in loose formation to come shoot at these two. Uh, to uh, arrow towers. And then we can move our trebuchets even closer. You, know, you lose a few men doing this. Uh, maybe more than a few men. Arrow towers just too strong. Just got it. Get it to 50%. Okay. So switch target. This one right here. All right, oh, that's over 50. Pull back, pull back. We lost uh, 13 men each, but those burned down, so that's great. Ah, uh, we finally have some vision on the units in the back. After they all burned down, we can move closer. Uh, just gotta stay out of that turret's range. So lean a little bit to the left. Uh, we should move the rest of our units closer in support, just in case we get someone rushing out. These guys move fast, so no worries. They'll get their way before the trebuchet is ready. So we can see more now. Uh, we'll try to hit these guys. I think that's kill some of the cavalry. Not doing too much. Oh, well, our archer is actually in range. Okay. Fire at the archers in the back. Okay. They went to lose formation. We switched targets. Like that. Perfect. Uh, switch targets again. Back to. I don't know. This seems like a lot is going to hit the rocks. Let's just try to pound these archers a little bit. Soften them up for my archers later on. Alright, so trebuchet is done. We could repeat siege like before, but kind of promise we won't do that again. These units are done. Alright, our crossbowmen with the longest ranger is up. Their job is to take out the enemy archers. She maybe get close enough and take out the enemy cavalry first. Yep. This range is fine. They're running. 
Are they coming out to meet us? We gotta shoot at them regardless. Basically cycle through whoever is in loose, whoever is not in loose. Oh, they... Yeah, that's a bad decision. Right before getting shot at. I'd be routing. Okay. You guys are doing great. Uh, we'll have these guys come up. Form a shield wall here to stop all cavalry charges. Uh, these guys stand in the back. Reinforce. The siege is going pretty well. Spear guard seems like a waste of arrow. Yeah. We'll let them go into hand to hand combat with us. Uh, we'll move ours even closer. Shoot those guys. I want to kill calories, but they move right after they get shot, so I can't see them now. Oh, I should have these. Actually, those sea militias are better. So our crossbowmen are almost out of commission as well. Try to weaken up this uh, team militia unit. Yeah, gotta kill these archers who are firing back at us. You guys can fire these guys right here. Look at that car. Perfect. Look at that. Light you guys up. Don't go in yet. Don't go in it. Back off a little. Feels like they're charging at us to line up our shield wall. These two are too high. Three, stop shooting. Good. Shield 
The archers are wasting arrows on the shield wall, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, we're gonna fire away at the ones we can kill. Right, those are out of arrows. Go back a little bit. We'll just let you guys fire away. Finish all your arrows to whoever you want. These guys can form back up. Do you not understand guard mode? Come charging out at us, perfect. Wait, why are they not? I don't understand the AI sometimes. They just switch formations without me telling them to. We have a time issue here. We're not going to be able to kill Shifu. That's the issue. Gotta wait till they finish shooting. And then we can charge our infantry men inside. Right, our archers are almost done here. We also don't want to charge until their cavalry charge into our line, which is what we want. We're probably not going to get that. Let's use one of our generals. To get the desired effect of them charging out at us. Uh, Shushu clearly wants to uh, fight us. We can actually use that to stall him. Um, we're out of formation. Stay in formation for the cavalry charge. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back. Cavalry charge. Yep, we got the shield wall, the shield wall. Wow. But we didn't get killed. That's the key. They were just knocked down. Alright, once we survive that charge. Oh Jesus, that charge probably not gonna survive. Alright, we can have them fight up here. Send our men back here. Get ready here. Alright, we'll be back in cavalry. Let's go in the fight. Oh. Getting flanked. Okay. Trying to flank us. Shifu's here. Shifu's here. Move back, move back. Uh, yeah, we'll take one of them. Hmm, that's how clearly can't fight him. We'll have to try to use 
use our infantry and kill him. And I mean try. Uh, our crossbow men have decent... Uh, actually, none of these have decent fighting stats, so... I lied. Wow. If somehow we can kill this guy with our infantry, then we're fine. If not, then we're screwed. Alright, no need to chase, no need to chase. All your job is to kill That's our one job. Guess I could let you run away. Uh, we killed it. Yeah, yeah, you can run. You kill Xu Fu. So that's already a win. Alright. Now we can start. Try to center our force to. Okay, go help out. Or at least form a flank. Are you better than Xu Fu? I don't think so. Let's go. Okay. We'll take the other two as well. At least they have high morale. I guess they all have high morale. I guess we'll just all go. And even these guys, they have the same attack basically. Attack. Oh no. Block arrows. Alright, just gotta grind this out. Right. We beat their general. Now we just gotta beat beat them, you know, one wave at a time with our main force and chew them out. Right, let's try to move everyone up so we have more fighting area. Right, let's kill that guy. Come on, we can do it. Just a lot of archers. Ha, oh, I gotta finish these cavalry units. We have the masses. Let's do it. Mobilize. Mobilize. Surround and kill. Pull, pull, pull. Surround and kill. Oh, that hurt. Don't let him go out. This is a brutal battle. Look at the dead bodies. Blue are theirs and the brown are ours. They're getting killed by archers and stuff. Okay, that, let's wait. Uh, let's slow it down a little. We have five minutes to do this. 
，赶快，赶快！鼓起勇气，尽情厮杀。I don't think we can win in five minutes. I'm gonna try to capture the point on the top to kill some morale. I don't know how we can win. And the cavalry charge to kill us. Let's go this way. Oh, the captain's back. Maybe if we kill the captain. Oh wow, this charge is gonna kill us. Alright, we killed the captain. Absorb these charges. Another captain. Oh wow. I think we lost this. Yeah, I think we lost this. Too many cavalry units. All right, uh, we suffered another defeat at the hand of Xu Chu. Uh, it's just too strong. All right, I'm gonna pull back. Okay. I don't even know if we can save her. I guess we can move out a little bit, recruit, and ambush perhaps. This is a fresh army, they just haven't recruited it. Mm. Could borrow Zhao Yun. Yeah, let's borrow Zhao Yun. Just to cover them. If anyone comes chasing for the weak units, we'll trigger an ambush. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. Uh, we suffered another defeat at the hand of Xu Chu. Uh, he has single-handedly beat Liu Bei's army three times. He has beat uh, now Liu Bei's ex-wife's and current wife's army uh, once. Uh, we're struggling with him. Um, Dong Min's forces are here. Uh, it feels like if we get a peace with him, it would work too, but he clearly don't like us. So we play might lose some territories, or we could have to summon some armies to figure this out. Uh, as soon as we moved him, uh, this happened because of Han Fu. Uh, we can actually at least take care of this, move this into uh, Bo Hai. Uh, if we lose Henei farmland, it's fine. Dong is kind of a hard pill to swallow. Uh, he is coming to defend Yin Chuan, which I feel like now is kind of pointless. Uh, Sun Jian has a ridiculous amount of army in my territory, uh, even though we just signed a peace treaty. Uh, I'm going to have to force march myself back to Dong. Uh, it'll take two turns, so that's not too bad. I'll be there next turn. So even if they siege, I can uh, join back in very soon. Uh, conscription is built to all level 3 in Pengcheng, and we can set up a new army group here, maybe with Liu Bei. Uh, maybe we should just do that this turn. So we get one more. Oh, we can't. Uh, we, why can't we? Wait, why can't we raise the army in Pengcheng? It's not letting me raise the army with Liu Bei. That's interesting. Can I raise the army? Wait. Is it the location that I can't do it? Oh, Liu Bei is currently on assignment. Okay. That clears it up. Well, Liu Bei, you can come back. We need you. Uh, we'll pick a quick reform. Uh, we're gonna go down the farming tree. I'm gonna pick up these uh, fishing. Need some food. Food is becoming an issue. Um, we'll take a look at the building real quick. Bohai is fine. Uh, the LC can be upgraded farther. Pingyuan is fine. Um, Donghai is fully built. Longya is not touching it. Uh, we can upgrade this more to get more food at Yichuan uh, to help us with um, 
our food shortage. But I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I think the fishing upgrade will be taking care of a lot of that issue. I don't know what Sun Jian wants, uh, but he does have a lot of men in my territory that are not replenishing, so I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, Han Fu seems to be okay. We can defend this here with Zhang Fei. And up here, we'll see if this trap works. Yep, so that wraps it up for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And see y'all next time. Bye!